Ramadan. They have to make the fast up. They got to make it up. And if they did fast on Ramadan, it wouldn't be accepted. This not the woman on the message, is it? Yes. The, the habit. The woman on the message. If she fasts while she's on the message, it doesn't count anyway. If she did want to fast, and that's the difference between the second group. The second group, it says, Yajuzu. Yajuz. I mean, Yajuz, the Hadith taught. It's permissible for them to break the fast. The, the traveler, they can break the fast. It's permissible to break the fast. I mean, they don't have to break the fast. But the woman on the message, Huh? She has to make it up the law. She can't fast, period. Even if she wanted to go on Ramadan, she said, I'm going to miss it, but I think I can still handle it. She fast anyway, it don't count. Like, right. who else? Qabah. They got to make it up after Ramadan. And if they fast to go on Ramadan, it wouldn't count. Um, is it the, 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 Ill, the ill person? Like, if they, uh, let's say, like, if you got diabetes, and the doc, like, if you go against doctor's orders, the doctor say, you know, you shouldn't fast. They will fall. Diabetes, ah, the sick, the sick person, the sick person, even if it's diabetes, the sick person can fast. They can fast, That's but they have the option to break the fast. They can break the fast. Okay. It's permissible to break the fast when you're sick, right? This person, we already said the one on the menses. If another person, if she wanted to fast, I just gave it to you. Right. <laughs> I just gave it to you. This is the one that this, uh, this breastfeed. breastfeed. Yeah. If they wanted to fast in Ramadan, it wouldn't count. And they gotta make it up. Sorry. Nah. Oh, my bad. If they wanted to make, if she want, get to you again. If they wanted to <laughs> fast on Ramadan, it wouldn't count. If she wanted to fast on Ramadan, it yeah. wouldn't count. And she gotta make it up. She has to make it up, but if she did, there's no wrong body we can count. Right, all right. So we already said that. We already said the one on the misses. Is this the one who fears for her uh, health? No. Nah. Or the safety of nah. the baby? No. Nah. No, nah. 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 <laughs> the, 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 the postpartum bleed. After post the baby. After, after, after the birth. After the birth. That bleeding nah. after the birth. If she wanted to fast, she can't fast. Right. So those two fall under. Because of the postpartum bleed. Right? Yeah. If, she, if they even wanted to. So I can handle it, and she's fasting, it doesn't count. She still got to make it up. The last group, man, the dharma, the siyam, the nafsi, the lady, the one that, if they fast, they may be harmed, or the baby, the baby, somebody, whoever's connected to them may be harmed. That's the, there's two of them. Right. Who? It's, it's the one that, if it's just for her, and she has to. Who's that? that? The, the, the mother. What about the mother? Every mother? No, if she feels as though her, her if she her, her, if she's her, her breastfeeding, health. and she she feels as though her health is in jeopardy. Diane. So the she, breastfeeding mother. Right. Diane. And she feels as though her health is in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Then she doesn't have to fast. She she uh she can feed. Now if she if she if she breaks her fast and fear that just the child is in, then she has to. Make it up and feed. Right. She right. breaks the fast because she fears for the child. Then she has to make up the fast and she has to feed. The husband has to. Well, that's on the husband <laughs> to carry that. That's the breastfeeding. So what if she only fears she thinks she's going to get sick? She's still allowed to um, break her fast. She just has to make it up. Right. If she breaks it up, if she fears only for herself and not the baby, right. then she has to make it up. But does she have to feed somebody? Nah, tell you, that's the breastfeeding. Who else? Y'all gonna say this one many times already. The pregnant woman. The pregnant woman. The pregnant woman and the breastfeeding, they go together. Tell you. Meaning the pregnant woman, if she cheers for a self Huh? Hey, what is this What? The pregnant woman. The pregnant woman and the breastfeeding, they go together. If they fear for themselves only, Oh, that's why I didn't get the answers. Like, oh. huh? And then we spoke about the son who was a son before to break the fast. Today it says, 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 The person, two people. The one who loses their sanity for the entire day. The entire time of fasting.
ask them. They go, they lose their sin. June 9th, let June for the day. And they might come back to their senses the next day. Something happens, right? And the other person, Ugmiyane, a person who faints, they pass out. Two different people. Do you? They two different people. Get out, right? Huh? You get two people? They had to make it out. Who? The one, the one that went last known for the day. Do you? And the one that went, the one that fainted. Two people, right? They both, all right, as long as we're on the same page. One of them fainted, the other person went, let's just say, went crazy. For one day. For the day. Do you? Number one, let me just say a song that fasting, it doesn't count for them. Neither one of them. Well, they move now, I lay. Who makes it up? Who has to make it up? Uh, crazy for the day. So both of them make it up. So crazy people have to make up their fast. No, he went crazy for one day. No. No, no. He back, he back to if, if he's, if he's, yeah, if he just kind of lost his mind for the day. Yeah. And but if he's as known in yeah. that's his condition, he, he doesn't have to make it up. Right. If he's mejanoon, if the person that's mejanoon, crazy, they have no sanity, do they have to fast? No, no. It's like, at all. So, how they got to make it up? No, no you said with this guy, he, for he, day, he, 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 he got to make that day up. He was mejanoon. Okay, so. They got to make it up. He's but you said for for the day. Yeah, so even day. if it's just okay. So he, he so that day, day is still but when, he, but when he come back to his senses, it's then he back on again. Okay. okay. But it's he doesn't day. have to make it out. Right, because what's the condition for a person having a bad? That's what so he don't have to do. They it. They gotta have their apathy, and they gotta be of age. I what if it's called by uh, drugs or oh. you know med medical? That man's moving on this. Uh, you know this low apathy. Yeah, you might ask him who he lost his mind for the day. That's a revelation. Yeah, that's <laughs> inflicted. I'm not saying. I don't mean like a drug like that. I mean like you be in the hospital. Oh, medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always confused about that point. We already get to that. Okay. We're gonna get to that. Sean. Thank you. So this is that they go through the whole day. They go crazy for the whole day. The fast doesn't count, right? The first is mentioned they don't have the aqua. If they don't have the aqua, they can't do what. Before fasting, before praying. Make the intention. No intention. <coughs> but doesn't have the, the sand, you don't have the sand to make a knee of hustling. If you don't have the intention, then you can't fast. No, we worship, right, without the intention. Tell you. Y'all don't do the knee. Y'all don't do the Tell you, the person that fainted, fainted for the entire day they passed out. Are they crazy? No. Some what? shit. Huh? <laughs> They not. They haven't reached the point of being mejnoon, crazy, right. right? But at the same time, they're not the third person that he didn't mention. They're not sleep, a normal sleep. It's past the normal sleep, right? It's past the normal sleep, but it didn't reach the point of of losing sanity. This person has to make up that day. This person has to make up that day. Yeah. Okay. They fainted the entire day. But he says, But if they woke up for a portion of the day, a portion of the day, right? They made the knee, they woke up for a portion of the day, then it counts. So if they, if they made the intention to fast, they, made the they passed to fast. out. They passed out. At 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. They woke up at 4 o'clock in, in the afternoon. Right. They, they still good. Yeah, they good. Mm -hmm. What about the Mejanoon person? No. When Mejanoon at 9, then he was cool at. Bye. Bye. Huh? Bye. Now, this is important here. According to the author, some say this is correct. But not all of the math say that. Some say no, because the Mejanoon is the Mejanoon. And the original statement about the person who loses their sanity. But that's an issue that is some khilaf and difference of opinion. But according to the author, both of them, if they wake up for a portion of the day, then they're okay, according to the author. And books like this, the beginner books, is not really for uh, arguing, or not arguing, but going back and forth in difference of opinions, getting what is the issue and understanding what does this author see to be correct. 
That doesn't mean all of them agree. Somebody else might say no, I ain't other than that. They say no, the Mejnoon is the Mejnoon. Now you said the fast from is not correct. So you? So you. Next, Hukmaniya, the Niya in the, in, in, in the fast. And La Yaseh wa La Yaseh wa Sonu Fawdin, Illa bi Niyatin Mu'ayyana bi Juz'in min al-Layl. The fast is either going to be two types of fast. All right? Either the fast is follow, follow, you know, follow. What is follow? Follow the glory. What's another word for follow? Follow or wajib. Follow or wajib. Either the fast is going to be follow, wajib, obligatory, or it's going to be nothing. Huh? Voluntary fast. Voluntary, nothing, or another word for nothing. Another word for voluntary. It's just so we hear these words bouncing around. Huh? Recommended what? Recommended. Another Arabic word. Or voluntary. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sunnah. Sunnah. Right? Like what? Sunnah fast on Mondays and Thursdays, right? That's a Sunnah fast. It's nothing. It's voluntary. I mean, it's not obligatory. Tell you, if the fast is followed, that be just in min al that an obligatory fast, an obligatory fast, is not correct. It's not correct except with a specific intention, right? And that intention has to be done during the night. During the night time. What time? When is the night? From what to what? After Mother to? Salat to Fajr? After Fajr. When the sun rises. It's like when the sun rises. Okay. The difference between Isha and uh, Fajr, mm. cut in half. I forget what the name of it is. So. In the middle of the night? What's the Fajr of Kathy? What's the question? What's, that? Hey, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, what is the night? Because it says that the Nia has to be done in the night. So, after so, Mother, so, so we know the night starts at? Mother. Okay, when is the night over? After Fajr. When the sun after Salat al-Fajr. When the sun rises. When the sun rises. So, yeah, we start fasting. We start fasting. At night or after night. If we're saying that, if we're going to say that Salat, uh, the night is over after Salat al Fajr, that means we start fasting after what? Salat al Fajr. Uh, so, that means after we pray Fajr, then we start fasting. Sunrise, right? Sunrise rises at what? Right now, like 6 30. We pray Fajr at 540. 40. On the news, the sunrise might be at like 645. Right. After Fajr, some what? Sa? Hmm? No. <laughs> so, what is the end of the night? The end of the night is at the Adhan. The Adhan of Fajr. The Adhan of Fajr. The of Fajr. <laughs> Meaning the fast starts at the Adhan of Fajr. The fast starts. Meaning. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna if someone ate after Salat al Fajr, they broke their fast. That, that was my question. So, if someone, all right, let's say someone not knowingly ate after the Adan. Like, say it's still dark outside. The Adan has been called. The brother, like, let me go eat this banana real quick before I get it in. Get the fast and no problem. It's still dark outside. That's not the, no, no, no. I'm saying it's still dark outside. Right. It's not the gauge for right. when the fast Okay. Starts. We would be number one. And we're going to get to the question a little, bit, a little bit later. Number two, somebody does that something unintentionally. Tayyip, he says, from the night. So that means that you can make your knee to fast tomorrow after Salat al Maghrib. As long as it's in the night. You got from Maghrib all the way up until the event of Fajr to make your knee. What if a person will make no knee to fast the next day? Can they fast? Yeah, they can fast, it's not going to count, though. It's not going to count as what? As, 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 uh, uh, it's not going to count as an obligatory fast. Because 
the obligatory fast has to be, the intention has to be done in the night, during the night. So I'm kind of a dying, no matter if that fast is a dying, meaning huh, we're doing it, we're not traveling, nothing, we're fasting it right now. Remember, to do the fast right now during the time. I don't have any excuse not to fast. I'm here, I'm healthy, I'm not traveling, I have to fast now, a dying. Or even if a person had to make up a day, a person had an excuse they were traveling, so after Ramadan they gotta make up a day. It's an obligatory fast that they're making up. So they have to make their intention when? At night. They can't just wake up one day in the middle of the day and say, I'm gonna make this my Ramadan day. Right? It's an obligatory fast. Obligatory fast, the intention has to be done in the nighttime. Or he brings another one, kafalatan. Kafalatan. A kafala, fast kafala, is like a penalty. From a penalty, for example, if a person accidentally, if a person accidentally kills somebody by accident, they go to court, they find out, okay, it was really, it was really an accident. They, they gotta pay a kafala. They don't just, oh, it was an accident, aren't you cool? They gotta pay a kafala. From the ways they pay is, this kafala is obligatory. I mean, I'm sorry. From the ways they uh, pay that penalty is they have to fast two consecutive months. Shaharim with the right? Obligatory, not optional, obligatory. Kafala obligatory. And I know a brother in Jeddah, he accidentally, accidentally hit somebody and killed him. He was driving and crashed into his brother that was walking, I think he was walking. He was one of the cleaners, I think, cleaning the streets. He hit him and killed him. So he would come to class every day. Like he started coming to class, he was falling asleep in class. Like he was just moving different. He was fasting every day. So I'm like, you all right, you sick? Like, what's up? So he said, you know, he told me what happened. He said, I hit somebody, I killed him by accident in the car. And my confounders, I had to fast two months straight. Uh, it's real. So even if it's a kafala, it's an obligatory fast, the intention got to be made Tonight. at night from between after Maghrib, before the Adhan Fajr. Or if it's another, another is an obligatory fast. A person makes something obligatory on himself. An oath, we say, right? So a person says, for example, if Allah heals me, or if Allah heals my mother, right? I'm gonna fast 10 days straight, right? A lot of person says this, they make an oath, they say, if Allah heals my mother from the sickness, I'm fasting for the next month. Allah heals his mother or her mother, it's obligatory. Meaning if they don't fast, it's a sin now. Obligatory fasting, don't fast is a sin. You don't have an excuse. Even any of those, if it's an obligatory fast, the intention has to be made at night. Meaning before Fajr. The Holy Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Hadith. Men lam yujmir. As-siyama qabl al-fajri fala siyama la. One Hadith says, whoever well, doesn't make the intention to fast before Fajr, fala siyama la. Then there is no fast for him. Tayyib. Min juz, bi juz in min al-layl. He says, for the portion of the night. As long as it's before Fajr, the Adhan of Fajr, not the first Fajr, second Fajr, Fajr is Sadiq, not the first Fajr, the Adhan, the, 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 the Fajr of the Adhan, the Adhan. That's the first fast, the obligatory fast, Fadr. The second fast, and Naflu. وَيَسِنْحُ نَفْلٌ مِنْ مَنْ لَمْ يَفْعَلْ مُفْسِنًا and this, the fast is correct, whether it's if it's an optional fast, right? A sunnah fast, like Mondays and Thursdays, right? The white days in the middle of the month. They can make this niyyah, the intention, sawa'an, nawa'a, qabla sawa'a, qabla sawa'a. They can make the intention in the middle of the day. So they woke up, for example, 12 o'clock. They woke up around dawn, right? They say, you know what? Let's just say, for example, you know, in the wintertime, mother is at like 
They wake up around, let's say, Lord, even early. Let's say they wake up 12 o'clock. They say, you know what? I'm going to just fast today. It's Monday. Prophet said, I'm used to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. I'm going to fast today. Sunnah. I'm going to fast today. Starting right here at 12 o'clock and just fast until the event of Monday. They can do that. Why? Because it's not an obligatory fast. It's a sunnah. And a sunnah fast, enough of you can make intention anytime throughout the day. But yet, with one condition now. Anybody know it? As long as you haven't already eaten. Yeah, as long as you haven't already eaten. I would like to ask you that question. <laughs> as long as you didn't do something that would break your fast. You didn't eat anything, you didn't drink anything, you didn't go through any, you didn't do any of the things that would break your fast. As long as they didn't do any of the things that would break their fast, they wake up at 12 o'clock and they say, I'm gonna just fast the rest of the day. Right? Fast, nothing, sunnah. It's a white day. I forgot today was Thursday. I want to fast today, and they can go. They can fast from that point. The end of the Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he made his attention to fast in the middle of the day. And it was reported that he didn't eat or do anything after Fajr that would break his fast. In the hadith, and Aisha, رضي الله عنها, the Aisha said, قالت, قال لي رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, ذات يوم, يا عائشة, هل عندكم شيء? شيء? The Prophet ﷺ said to Aisha that day, do you have anything to eat? طيب, فقلت, Aisha said, رضي الله عنها, يا رسول الله, ما عندنا شيء? We don't have anything. He said, قال صلى الله عليه وسلم, فإني صعب. All right, well, I'm fasting. And it was already after Salat al Fajr, after the Adhan al Fajr, which shows you can make the niyyah in any part of the day. It says, Nahal Mutlaqa, meaning it could be earlier in the day, it could be 10 o'clock in the morning, it could be 2 o'clock in the afternoon. A person might have been up traveling all night, they wake up the next day, huh? they pray Fajr and go to sleep. By the time they wake up, it's 2 30 in the afternoon. They say, I'm going to just fast today. Of course, that the reward is not like the person who fasted from the beginning of the day. Right, but it's still reward. But it's still reward, and they can still do that according to the guidance of the promise of Allah. So, so that's with regards to the need and the intention. If it's an obligatory fast, it has to be done at night, during the night. During the night doesn't mean dark, because it's dark after Fajr. We could pray Fajr, and it's still dark. Hmm. So are we still getting to that point or should I, can I ask that question? Which point? Let's say you, um, you eat some support, but you haven't finished up, and you're done, and you're done, it's called. No, we ain't getting there yet. Tayyip, Fasl, Bayanu, Muftirat, Wa Ahkamu the things that break the fast. And one of the issues with the things that break the fast is the first thing, من أدخل إلى جوفه أو مجوفا في جسده كالإمام وحلق كالإمام وحلق شيئا من أي موضع كان غير إحليه Whoever puts something inside, that's the word inside, in the stomach or inside, that in itself, there's a whole issue of khilaf. That what is the inside? What's the joke? Early man, therefore, on that, you're not going to go into that. It's a whole research in itself. What is the inside? According now, right now, we just according to this. Whoever enters something into the inside of his body, the stomach or uh, the throat or the dinam. Brain, like you, you know how sometimes the cold, the phlegm, it moves. You might, if you got you got stuffy, you're trying to get it out, but it won't come out. You might suck it up. It might go further up, right? <laughs> the inside, the moving around on the inside, all that stuff counts. According to the author, all of that counts. This is one position. All of that counts. If it's moving from one place to another, all of that counts. All right. So. He breaks it down 
He says, al muftirat ala qismain. The things that break your fast are two categories. Tayyib. The first one, ma yufsidu sawm wa yalzam ma'ahu qadha. Fakr. Things that break your fast, all you got to do is you have to make it up. And then there are things that break the fast and you have to make it up and you have to pay a penalty. All right? Sometimes some things break the fast and all a person has to do is make up that day. Some things break the fast and a person has to make up the day and they have to pay, we say a penalty, expiation. It's not always money. Sometimes expiation is uh, something else. Like fasting. The Kafala the last time they had to fast two months straight. Two months straight. Not a month here and a month there, two months in a row. So either you break your fast and you, just have, and you just have to make the day up, or you break your fast and you have to make the day up, and you have to pay a penalty. Right. Let's look at the first category, which is huh? what's the first category? Huh? You break your fast and what? You just gotta make the day of home travel, right? You only gotta make the day of. But when you look at this category, this category is also broken into two. Meaning, a person breaks their fast and they don't have to do anything but make up the day. Tell you, there's two things that will break a fast, two ways it can happen. The first way, dafinun ilan jof o Something goes inside, either to the stomach, or down the throat, or denied, or it goes up to the brain. That's one, it goes inside. Or, so that will break the fast, right? Something goes in. Or, cottage men and joke, something comes out of the body that breaks the fast. They vomit. They vomit, good. What else, can they, what? Huh? Bleeding breaks your fat. No. Blood now? Nah? Oh, um, the, uh, look there. Huh? Yeah, 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 there you go. What? Well, you have sex. You have Jade, a, uh, yeah. No. Right. Ajima. Ajima. That's, yeah, Ajima. It comes out. Yeah, it right. comes out. <laughs> Meaning the semen. Right, right. The semen Not comes out of the body. That you had right. sex, though, but that the semen. The semen out. coming out of the body. It may have been a, uh, like a dream. dream. Ah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. But yeah, that's gonna come in more detail by itself. Yeah. That, but point being that sometimes what breaks the fast is what goes in, and sometimes what breaks the fast is what comes out. Clear, huh? It could go in, or it could be something coming out. If it's something coming out, somebody said blood. So if you're bleeding, right? If I cut myself with a knife cooking, my fast is broken, huh? Somebody who said blood? <laughs> just said, nah. <laughs> it is bleeding, but not all kinds of bleeding. It's a specific type of bleeding. Like the menses. Would that be considered? Uh, she's not fasting anyway. Oh, you saying no, she was? Oh, she was she fasting was in the middle fasting. of the day. Right, right. Gee, gee. But that's not the one we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> that's Sahih. El Hijana. El Hijana cupping. Okay. If a person gets cupped. During the day, during Ramadan. You know, a couple of stuff, their blood out, the dead yeah. blood, something bad blood out. At a hijama. Or what else? A person might. Cut their arm off. I mean, they cut their Transfusion. Transfusion. Not bleed. That hijama is because it's a specific text. There's a text that says cupping breaks the fast. But generally, bleeding doesn't break the fast, not just general bleeding. But yeah, that's them not. Masturbation. Person masturbates until they ejaculate and breaks the fast. Point being, the fast can be broken by things going in and the fast can be broken by things going out, right? All of these things right now though, they only require to make up the day, all right? Thank you. He says, He says, and this is the issue, is it anything that goes in the body or is it food that goes in the body? This is an issue where, right? They are anything that goes in. 
anything that goes in the body. Meaning it doesn't have to be food. It has to be ingested, all right? It goes in. You with me? And on this statement, some of them say, if you allow a person, if you allow a person to stab you. Allow them to stab you? Yeah. What do you mean, like this? Yeah. Go ahead and stick me. Yeah. Who does that? I don't know if you do it, but you know, <laughs> you know, right? Are you serious? Yeah. Point being, if you allow them to do that, then what? Well, it breaks your fast, according to why? Because it, it, it goes in. It went into the stomach. It might right? break your fast for a long, long Maybe. time. It might went, it went into your stomach. Maybe they gave you an option, though. Huh? You, gonna take this you never know. Point being that that's where the difference comes in. Is there anything that goes into the body? Or does it have to be food, something replacing food? You know, people take needles and stuff right, right. as a food replacement. Does it have to be that or anything? That's an issue. Here they say anything, anything that goes with thing. Men adkhala ila jawfi. Shayin, whatever it is. Men ayyi mawdin kana ghayr ihli. Right? So we already said that it can go in or it can come out. We're talking about the things that go in there now. For example, a person might take uh, injections, right? Injections. Be minded at it. Breaks the fast. They take an injection in their stomach or something like that. The, the diet. Right? Yeah. It breaks the fast. Or they might take something in their veins. It might have to go into the vein, right? And this is on the IV. Or IV. This is on the thing. Anything that goes into there, into the body, the joke, the throat, it reaches the brain, it reaches the stomach. Then it breaks the fast. What about checking for your blood sugar? Pricking your finger? Yeah. What does that do, though? Look, Are you putting something in there? Blood comes out. No, but it something comes blood's out. coming out. If you prick your finger in there. Bleeding it. doesn't. Yeah, yeah, but you said it's not to enter. Enter, enter into where? The stomach. It's like Joe. It's, it's like, like it's like, like it's that. prick you. It'll prick you. <coughs> it's like something like a little needle or something that'll prick you. Oh, it'll make you bleed and put the. A lot of But it says, from any place on the body, meaning it doesn't have to go through the normal passageways. That's why they say, if somebody, according to them, according to this quote, if somebody, if you would allow somebody to poke, you know, stab you, and they just stick it in your stomach, and they poke in your stomach, and that iron is in your stomach, break, that's the issue. Some of them might say, no, it gotta be something that's replacement for food, not just anything. And that's the argument. We're going, to, we're going right now with the statement of the author. And that's how these books are written. For this type of level, you go You want to know what did the author mean? You want to understand what is he saying? Then we can move on. Once we get down what he's saying, okay, we can look at what somebody else is saying. We can't move on if we don't understand what's going on right here. Right? I think wow. Jahai got a question for you. Jahai. <laughs> He says, any, whether it's through the nose, right? If it goes through the nose, or, as he already said, the vein, the stomach, maybe, you know, the tablets. Sometimes people take tablets that dissolve in your mouth, right? All those things. Except if it's done. Somebody forces them to do it, it doesn't break the fast. Or somebody forgets. Right? You forget during the daytime, you pick up some more, you drink it. Oh, I don't pass. Nisyan, they really forgot. <laughs> like right after a lot. You know. Not that you really want to break your fast and you're gonna to try to use this excuse that you forgot. That doesn't work. No, if you, if you really, really forgot. Yeah, you forgot. Then you can continue to fast. Right. They somehow feel cooked Yeah, I forgot. That's the issue, tasting the food. Tasting the food. Out of forgetfulness, though. Not, not no, intentionally tasting the food. Yeah, I'm not talking about intentionally tasting the food. So if a person intentionally tastes the food, it breaks it fast. You put if it didn't go into your throat, uh -huh. you didn't taste it, spit it out. Okay. okay. You with me? Okay. The thing that? is, it got a wasa. It got to go in. Okay. It's on the tongue. It didn't go anywhere, right? That's like brushing your teeth. Okay. Or you don't brush your teeth when you fast. 
Oh, yeah, I am. I'm just saying. <laughs> but that, that's a, um, yeah. that's a, we're getting to that, too. We get yeah, to that. we make wudu. We put the water in our mouth. That break it fast? It doesn't go yeah, in. Yeah, they go in. You spit it out. Right? If somebody forces you or or you forget, then that's a different situation. So, yeah. But we make wudu. So, make wudu. We put water in our mouth. Make a muscle. Might make a muscle going in the day. Put water in your mouth three times. Not just once. Three times. You might have forgot. Did I do it two or three? Do it four. It didn't go down. And even if it did go down, if you make a wudu and it did go down, it's not intentional. Right? It's not island. It's not intentional. But you, you with me? No. This one right here, he says, it can go in wherever it goes in. Okay? Wherever it goes in the body, except, except one place, he says, except for if something entered the body through the penis. Let's just say medicine, maybe. Ouch. You said what happened now? A person, we said, all these other people are taking medicine, right? It's right. medicine. They got to poke themselves with medicine and put something in there. Tell you, a person, something has to go through the through his penis. So, so or the, the catheter. Yeah, yeah, yeah catheter, exactly. Catheter. Jay, what's it called? Catheter. Yes. That. Right. During the day, no on the line. Ooh. So then what I protect this off from having to go through that. But if that happened to a person, mm. break their fast or not one though. Yeah. Hmm? Break the fast. That's it. I mean there's it. something going in though. It's going yeah. something right. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> Shit. Break the fast. They differ. They differ this on the say. They say it doesn't break the fast. Why? Huh? You say, say. Because it's technically not going in your body. Where's it going? It's, going in it's the still into that, that it's penal into cavity, stomach. which is kind of an extension, but it's not. Jade, jade. They say it's going, maybe reaches the testicles. That's maybe. Right. Which is, they say it's munfasila. The testicles are not, they're actually separated from the body. Yeah. This is their reason. This is their reason. They say that it's munfasila. They're in the munfasila, and in jof. They're separate from the actual inside. The joke is the what? The stomach, the throat, the head, huh? That don't mean get crazy. Tayyib. <laughs> it says, Oh, it doesn't matter. This is another one. This is another one. It was the shape of the mamida, 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 and a lot, this happens a lot. And this is all under the statement that what? What's the inside? And what breaks the fast? This is anything that goes in. Something moves. The dara some mucus. The person pulls mucus up into their mouth. It's coming out. Right? The mucus has left its original place wherever it was at. Whether it was in the chest, poured from the chest to the mouth. Right? They say at this point he has to do what? Got to spit it out. Okay, so it's not it. so, Swallow it back, you can put something on the inside. But that's coming it out. If you, spit, if you spit it out, it's coming out. Yeah, but that doesn't you break your fast. Right. Spitting doesn't break your fast. You might go like this. Right. And then swallow it. Right. Spitting never broke. We know it says spit breaks your fast. Vomit. Vomit does. Right. This is mucus. You got a little cold on Ramadan. Mm -hmm. You pull one, right? From here, and then swallow it on other, you know. Mm. Right? This is all the statement that what? They do it intentionally. But intentionally, if you if you if you got, you know, like snot or whatever, you, then that'll break the fast if it goes. If it moves. If right. it moves from its original place and it goes, you can feel sometimes you can feel the mucus moving. Like you can feel the ball of mucus on the inside if you're really sick. You can feel it move like and go up, right? Now, sometimes it go up and you can feel it come down. And you yeah, it's moving around, time. right? Point being, if it reaches the mouth, then it has to come out. If it reaches the mouth, it has to come out. The mucus that comes from the throat. It says, if it comes to the mouth from the throat, 
or from the chest and suddenly he omen dinari or if it comes from got a head cold for in the wajib alayhi an yanfilahu yanfilaha or he has to do is spit it out for in the raddaha wabtalaha mutahamidan abtalat if they swallowed it intentionally then it will break the fast this is all according to what is the inside and uh, what breaks the fast does it anything that goes on the inside or is it uh, does it have to be food a replacement for food because the other statement is that it has to be a replacement for food. We're going with the cost of the offering, the cost of the offering. And this is all under the first category that if these things happen, that what a person has to do is make up the day only. This is all under the first one of making up the day only, meaning they don't have to pay a penalty. There's no penalty along with making up the day. That comes with Something else. Daya. Any questions? Yeah. With the um what the brother was saying about checking your blood. Lah. 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 Any question on that? Allah. I don't know. It's a whole bath I got a whole research on that about it's a whole book by itself, honestly. Because like, they say they say it's only it's only like a drop, just enough to but like you said, it's like you out. stick your finger with a safety pin by mistake and a little little trip of blood come out. That's that's all it is. Is he putting medicine in? No, no, no. You, Le, put, you put the blood on the strip and it oh, checks your blood. There's, there's no medicine going in. No, no medicine going in. But the needle in itself kind of pricks you to so I mean he's not injecting it upon his, you. Brace upon his position. Oh, are you saying it might fall under the stabbing? Yes. Allowing somebody to stab you. Allow. Yeah. Then you got this is according to this because you might find other people say no just like that. So it ain't like everybody you come across got to hold this. Other people might say no, no that don't break you. Are that's gonna come down to a flex one. You might want to ask somebody gonna give them a basically you want to ask the sheikh and basically according to what that sheikh sees to be correct from the khilaf that the ulama have, he might say it breaks it or he might say no. Two scholars on the sunnah. They might hold different positions when it comes to this. Like the one about the uh, the person, the, the Majnun, who gain, regains their sanity in the middle of the day. Right? The sheikh who wrote the book says, like him, they go with the position that he, his fast is valid. Sheikh what they mean. Right? Allah said, no. Not just sheikh what they mean. Other, it's another point being, it's another opinion. That's why you go to two scholars and they give you two different answers sometimes on the same question. They know each other, they both on the sunnah, and they give you a different answer. Why? Because he can't force him to see that side to be the strongest. These are people who have the ability to look at the little and extract rulings, and when they come out, they see this to be strong, and that's what he stands before law with. And the other sheikh sees this, but that's what he stands before law with. And that's they give the facts for like that. So it might be according to according to the the fatwa of the person to ask. But yeah, um, I guess we'll stop there. I said the song, man, for the joke. The next we'll start next week with the things that break the fast that come out of the body, because all those things are things going in. <clears throat> What about in the hellish? Does that break the fast? According to who? According to According who? to the scholar right there, yes. Yeah, according no, to the This is a question. Yeah, in hell is. Because that's a that's like a mist that goes into your body. And, so. and you and you ingest it. You see the, you see what's going on? It's a lot of things now. It's so according to this According to this right. point, this this is the point. You may find scholars who say yes, that breaks the fast. Then you might find scholars that say no. What does it go back to? What is going in the body? Where is it going? Is it medicine? Is it food? All of that's an issue in itself. Allahu ta'ala. Inshallah ta'ala, we're gonna have a pre-Ramadan lecture for some people that can answer those questions. Inshallah. Better than me.
See anymore. So about the song that I'm 